Welcome, Mr. Albanese. Thank you for coming into the studio. In Barletta, that I've, uh, I've visited half a dozen times. Barletta. What's the connection with Barletta? Uh, my father uh, was uh, from uh, Barletta. He lived there his whole life, uh, but he uh, went to sea, uh, worked on uh, the, the fair sky that was a part of uh, the Sitmar line that travelled uh, from uh, Europe to Australia and uh, my mother uh, travelled uh, on that line uh, to London, met my father, uh, had a relationship with him and hence how I came about uh, in, in the world. Uh, but uh, my, my father was um, betrothed to someone from Barletta and uh, hence uh, my mother uh, came home to, uh, to have me by herself, uh, but adopted uh, his name and uh, certainly told me uh, roughly uh, where he was from. I thought, I thought he had died uh, when I was young, uh, but when I, uh, when I was old enough, she thought, uh, around about 14, uh, she told me what what had happened that uh, she uh, had uh, fallen pregnant with him and uh, she obviously wanted to keep uh, the child but uh, it was very difficult for a young Catholic woman uh, in the early 1960s uh, to have a child out of wedlock uh, so hence uh, the story was uh, was uh, told that he had died um, and that is why she was raising me by, by herself. Um, so uh, I, uh, I, it took me some time to have contact with him, but, but I found him uh, in uh, December of 2009, and he, uh, he died in January of 2014, but in that intervening period, I had uh, half a dozen visits to to Italy, both uh, by myself, but also two visits uh, with uh, my family, uh, so that they could meet uh, the family members. So my son could meet his grandfather, and uh, I have a half brother and, and, and half sister and nieces and nephews, uh, all of whom uh, live in Barletta. And, and so you said that uh, the mother maintained the name uh, of, of your father. But and given what we've heard about the conversation, your visits to Barletta, etc., is there any Italianness in your upbringing? Um, look, not um, not in the, in terms of having uh, you know, language or or even uh, cultural aspects, but um, when you have a name that's so Italian, like Albanese, you, you, you feel Italian, everyone thinks you're Italian. And I grew up very close to uh, Leichhardt and Haberfield uh, in the inner west of, uh, of, of, of Sydney, uh, which has a large Italian community. Uh, so one of the reasons for um, wanting to find my, my heritage um, was that I, I felt uh, Italian. Um, I, I, I felt that that was a part of me in a way that's, it's hard to describe um, in, a, in a rational way, I guess in a scientific way. Um, so that when, uh, when I eventually had a breakthrough and found uh, where my father was, I had a, a real physical need uh, to uh, to have contact with him, even though I had no idea what to expect. 